Hi, I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a senior consultant histopathologist and head of pathology department, AKMICHKSA. I'll be talking about epithelial neoplasms of the ovary, low-grade serous carcinoma. Definition and general background. Low-grade serous carcinomas are malignant epithelial ovarian tumors composed of serous tubal type epithelium with low-grade cytologic atypia. They are uncommon, accounting for 5% to 10% of all serous carcinomas, often bilateral often associated with or preceded by a serous borderline tumor, more common in the Western Hemisphere, clinical pathologically different significantly from high-grade serous carcinomas. Most women tend to present approximately one decade earlier than those with high-grade serous carcinomas. Mean age is fifth to sixth decades. Most are advanced stage, stage three or higher. Presenting symptoms are often vague and generally attributable to enlarged cystic ovarian masses ascites, but the tumors may be detected incidentally. They show elevated serum CA-125 level. Low-grade serous carcinomas have a high prevalence of KRAS associated with tumor recurrence and NRAS mutations. Mutations in TP53 BRCA1 and BRCA2 are highly uncommon, unlike high-grade serous carcinomas. They tend to have prolonged overall survival. Radiology description. This photo shows a CT scan with intravenous contrast showing a primarily solid pelvic mass, see the arrows, with scattered calcifications and small cystic regions. Gross appearance. This photo shows a solid and partly cystic tumor. Cut section shows solid gray-white areas with foci of cystic spaces containing thick material. They may be gritty due to calcification. Gross appearance of low-grade serous carcinoma with an extensive surface component. This photo shows a large bulky tumor replacing the ovary with the prominent excrescences on the external surface. Omental involvement by low-grade serous carcinoma is seen as a firm tan to yellow solid mass. Microscopic features of low-grade serous carcinoma. Destructive stromal invasion equals or more than 5 mm in linear extent in area, must be present as haphazard micropapillae, inverted macropapillae, or a mesothelioma-like pattern. This photo shows closely backed papillae and small nests of cells, replacing stroma and are surrounded by stromal clips. This photo shows inverted macropapillae which are surrounded by stromal clips. The lining cells are tall 
to columna and may or may not display cilia. The nuclei are uniform with mild to moderate atibia, less than threefold variation of nuclear size. Nuclear chromatin is evenly distributed and mitotic activity is low, less than 12 mitotic figures per 10 high power fields. A typical mitotic figures are absent and necrosis is rare. This photo shows a low grade serous carcinoma showing uniform nuclei and some MoMA bodies. Please note that prominent nuclei are more common than in serous borderline tumors. Microscopic features of low grade serous carcinoma micropapillary pattern. These two photos show complex elongated thin papillae with hierarchical branching medosa head appearance lacking true fibrovascular cores. They are at least five times as long as they are wide and involve at least one confluent area measuring equals or more than five millimeter in one dimension. Note in this photo spaces around the papillae likely representing retraction artifacts. The cytologic appearance is uniform with moderate atibia. This photo shows an invasive low grade serous carcinoma with both a micropapillary pattern and a macropapillary pattern. The latter represented by large papillae with edematous stromal cores. This photo shows small knot like nests and glands. It shows uniform round nuclei with moderate nuclear atibia and sparse mitosis, usually less than 12 mitotic figures per 10 high power fields. Microscopic features of low grade serous carcinoma with some more carcinoma pattern. It is a rare variant of low-grade serous carcinomas arising from the ovaries or the peritoneum with frequent MoMA bodies. Greater than 75% of the tumor cell nests in this photo are associated with some MoMA bodies. They are often synchronous with a benign serous ovarian tumor and or widespread peritoneal endosalpin joses. Biologic behavior is similar to borderline serous tumors with a favorable survival time. Microscopic features of serous borderline tumor with transformation to low-grade serous carcinoma. As many as 75% of low-grade serous carcinomas are admixed with and likely arise from a serous adenofibroma and or a serous borderline tumor that is often micropapillary. This photo shows a borderline tumor in the upper right aspect which is present juxtaposed to confluent invasion within the stroma. Late recurrences of serous borderline tumors often take the form of a low-grade serous carcinoma. This finding is a strong adverse factor.
extra ovarian serous implants, invasive implants, peritoneal low grade serous carcinoma. They are likely independent primary tumors. Multiple different invasive patterns can exist within one tumor, including glandular, micropapillary, and cripriform. Desmoblasia can be seen in the background. Some momentous calcification is readily identifiable. They are associated with poor prognosis and poor response to chemotherapy. This photo shows a low-grade serous carcinoma invading wall of colon. This tumor in this case represented a late recurrence of serous borderline tumor. Lymph node involvement by low-grade serous carcinoma. It could show different patterns. Tumor involvement of the nodal parenchyma, papillary clusters of tumor occupying subcapsular lymphatics, association with a desmoblastic stroma response. Cytomorphology of low-grade serous carcinoma. Positive peritoneal washings. Positive peritoneal cytologic preparations are virtually indistinguishable from serous borderline tumor. They usually show large or small, cohesive, three dimensional, often branching clusters with smoothly contoured or slightly scalloped edges. The individual neoplastic cells have moderate amounts of finely vacuolated cytoplasm and large hyperchromatic nuclei with prominent nucleoli. Cellular pileomorphism is slight to moderate with rare mitosis. The centers are occupied by microcalcifications, some MoMA bodies. Cell blocks sometimes show thin or broad fibrovascular cores lined by neoplastic epithelium with stratification and tufting. Immunohistochemistry Low-grade serous carcinoma shows cytoplasmic membranous positivity for CK7 Nuclear positivity for WT1, estrogen receptor and progesterone receptor, KI67, focal immunostaining of around 10%, so that it is of low proliferative activity. Normal wild type P53, scattered patchy, weak nuclear staining. Negativity for cytokeratin 20. That is, it is CK7 positive, CK20 negative. Prognosis and treatment of low-grade serous carcinoma. It has an excellent prognosis if confined to ovary. The five-year survival for high-stage low-grade serous carcinoma is 85%, while the 10-year survival is less than 50%. Patients with low-grade serous carcinoma respond poorly to platinum-based chemotherapy. Primary surgical resection and Subsequent debulking of recurrent disease are the mainstay of therapy. Microscopic features of chemotherapy related changes. This photo shows a serous carcinoma showing chemotherapy related changes. 
Here we see two small clusters of tumor, which are surrounded by an inflammatory infiltrate composed of lymphocytes and forming histocytes. That is extensive regression associated fibroinflammatory changes. Chemotherapy response score system CRS score 2. It means appreciable tumor response with residual tumor. These are the references. Thank you.